we're at the Fluvial Police Department right now. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm going to see if the policy and procedures manual is ready available so that way I can go ahead and view it. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and do an open records request and see if I can get a copy of the manual or just maybe a portion of the manual uh, so that way I can see uh, what sort of policy and procedures they have in place. Uh, right now it looks like they have a line so we're going to wait out here for a little bit and then uh, probably proceed with the uh, complaint process as well. Hi, uh, yes, um, is there a copy of the uh, police department's policy and procedure manual that's available to the public? Um, uh, the policy? Yeah, like the, the manual that they have, like it's like a department of yeah. policy procedure and manual that they have. Okay, um, do we have that available to the public, the departmental policy? Well, I think we have to request that through... Oh, yeah, Yes, uh, usually if that's already, like if that's something that's um, like already put together, uh, I could try to, I could, I could choose to like inspect it and review it if that's something that's open to, open to the public. No, not, not the cities, uh, the police department. All right, so now we're at the uh, city manager and uh, city secretary's office right now. So we're heading there. See if we can get some answers on this policy and procedures manual. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Philip, and um, I was wondering. Um, this is where the city secretary is, right? Yes. Um, I was needing to see if there's a departmental policy and procedures manual for the police department that is open to the public. Okay, um, so that you actually want to go to the police department for? I just came from there. Okay. They, they directed me here. Okay, and for for what kind of policy you're looking for? Uh, just their their manual that they have to abide by, like because okay. you know there's like a, a list of procedures, policy and procedures that they're okay. they have to adhere by. Okay. So I was just wondering if there's like a manual that's open to the public. To... So I guess so I'm trying to figure out what kind of manual you're trying to, because we have like our code of ordinances and our city charter. Is that? Kind of what you're looking for. Uh, what type of uh, doc? What type of documentation do you have for your police department for like your officers to follow? So I don't, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't deal with the police department. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I can ask them for it if you want me to get your information. I can uh, ask them for it and get have it sent to you. Um, but I don't have anything on hand right now. I would have to reach out to them. Right. But the thing is, is, I'm just trying to avoid doing the back and forth right now because okay. I just came from there and they directed me here. Sure, yeah. So I can get like your phone number or email or whatever, mm -hmm. and then I can work on it on my side and then get to you what I get. Uh, okay, because I was trying to see if there was something now because I think the department, the policy, okay. should be like ready available because it's already printed sure, out yeah. or something and, like that. And it might be in their office. I just, I don't know where they have it. Okay. So it's just not really available to me, okay. but it might be to the police department. Gotcha. Um, is the uh, city manager in? She's in a meeting. She's in a meeting? Yeah. Okay. 
The same thing with the sec but, city secretary as well. So this is the city secretary. I'm the deputy mm -hmm. city secretary. Oh, okay. Um, do you need to do a request for records? Yeah, I was wondering to see if there was the uh, policy and procedures manual for the police like department. The if you want to send me an email with exactly what you're requesting, mm -hmm. I can put in a request for it as an open records request. Okay. Uh, city secretary at PlutovilleTX.gov. Okay. Okay. And I can do that online, right? You can do it on, just send me an email to that city secretary mm -hmm. at flipworldtx.gov and I'll initiate the request for you. All right. Um, okay. What if I have the open records form and I filled it out right That's here and I turned it in? Would that be good? That's fine too. Okay, I yeah. can do that. Thank okay, you. Great. Pen. Yes, of course. And I will get this in today. All right, so here is the the open records course. Okay. Um, just for a little bit of uh, clarification, mm -hmm. um, if there's like a code of conduct as well, um, okay. I'm not sure if, you know, I'm not sure what the name of the actual document is. Sure, so yeah, I think this is enough that it. they'll be able to. And then um, here's account. my business card. Okay. Um, this is actually in reference to an incident that I had with one of the Fluidville officers over the weekend. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure, you know, going forward that, you know, such encounter doesn't happen again. Okay, sure, um, I'll submit this into our system and we'll get mm -hmm. it signed off today. Okay. Oh, uh, can I get a copy of that saying that I submitted, Dana? Of this? Yes, I just want a paper trail. All right, so now that that open records quest is filed, uh, now we wait. Uh, we have about 10 business days before they send us some sort of response. Uh, letting us know if it's going to be sent to the Attorney General for further review or if it's going to be uh, released. All right. More updates to follow. Thank you.